Hello guys, how you doing? Welcome back. I'm Sim UK and this is of course City Skylines 2. Now the game's had a bit of a rocky start. Um, it hasn't been exactly the perfect release, but um, the game is playable for most people, I think. Um, if your PC is a beefy PC, you're still going to have to drop the graphics and stuff, but you should be okay to play the game. The game is playable if your system meets Probably higher than minimum spec. I would recommend trying to upgrade any of your systems if you can. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about... Uh, I've played probably about 10, 20 hours, something like that. And I I think I've got a good starting technique. But I don't know for sure. So I thought I'd test it out and I'd share it with you. So we're going to say new game. And we're going to go... Let's have a look, see what we've got here. This has got outside connections, highway rail ship airplane and electricity um do any of them change some of them have less but they all have electricity okay let's do san francisco this is uh part of the um most expensive pack it's like a free dlc thing that you can grab haven't even looked at it yet let's jump on there and have a little look see so we go north american we won't do left-hand traffic. Natural disasters. We'll turn that off just for this video. Um, yep, okay, we'll go as we are. Bocester. Right, so this will be, I think, the best way to start out. Right, guys, so... I'm going to pause the game just for a moment. Not that that really makes any difference or anything, because there's nothing here. But you've just got to take stock of what's around you. So you, you, this first square is going to... Get rid of that plane. This first square is going to be your sort of main focal point. And you can see we've, we've got a small section of water area here. If I just come in and look at the water pollution area, you can see these triangles are not brilliant at showing you which way the water is flowing, because sometimes it looks like the angle's going a different way. If I compare that to the wind, it's very obvious which way the wind is blowing. So anyway, my, my point being that um, if you have any commercial area creating smog and filth and whatnot, you want to put it in an area that's going to blow it out to sea so that it doesn't affect people because it will just drag across the map, which is most irritating. So this is probably going to end up being a very heavily... Um, sort of economic area um, this doesn't really go anywhere so I don't know that you would use this for anything maybe put some electricity production buildings up here or something like that I don't know or maybe you're going to turn it into a really high class uh, living area if you do that you don't want to put your electricity factory here because all the smog is going to go over there of course so you want to think about this. So we could see that we definitely want to have, to start with at least, our industry. Um, if we split this diagonally down the middle, we want our industry up this end and our living areas down the bottom here. Um, same with the water. So the water you can see is almost always flowing inland. So you can see this is coming inland. This is actually going around slightly. So at our northernmost point is here. This is where you would want your water intake to be. So let's drop that down first of all. Now the bit—I mean, the quickest and easiest thing in the world is to just buy a, a water tower. Um, it's a lot more expensive than a water pumping station, and it's not as effective. But it is the easiest way, especially if you're landlocked. If I just drop that in there, like so, and then grab our sewage outlet which I think is going to have to go out there and what's going to happen you can see that the flow of water is going to take all the sewage and just fill up this bay now at some point we're going to upgrade this and filter the water out so it's not filthy and disgusting but we've got to get to that point first um, frustratingly you can't access a lot of the information until you reach uh, milestone four grand village but what we want to do 
it's it's a imperative that you connect to the outside world to start with um, but also we have the um, power line from an external source so we can use their power which means we don't need an electricity factory but in in actual fact it's so much more cost effective to build a coal factory and sell the excess electricity back to them uh, that it ends up paying for itself quickly indeed um, but the, the whole economics in the game are completely broken at the moment so uh, there's a lot of work that the devs are going to need to do to make this actually work properly right, so I'm just going to put a little bit of a road here and then what I'm going to try and do is follow the contours you see the circle around the road I'm going to try and follow the contours of the island somewhat So that we can get some early space for good industry and whatnot over here and because um, the water is coming from a clean reliable water source and the filth is going into a controlled area I'm quite happy to slam down for coal factory. Now it is going to destroy this water source underneath, but um, that's not actually going to be a massive problem, as we will see. And because all roads, other than motorways, uh, take water and electricity with them, you can see that the water connections are already there and everything is ready to go and that the electricity connection is already there and ready to go as well so all we need to do now is connect up to this point here now although the game has evolved a lot there's still a lot a long way to go before i think it's really better than the previous game so if you remember in the previous game we used to sort of do this system quite a lot So this is coming straight off the external highway so you want to kind of continue that as much as you can what i'm going to do from this point to 104 meters and then a new light a new road 104 meters new road 104 meters center 104 meters and then obviously you know what we're going to do here and even to this day this is I think the best way to start Now, a roundabout obviously is all one direction, but I actually think this works better with um, two lanes of traffic going in both directions. It just frees you up a little bit more than it otherwise would. So we're going to have all our industry over on this side. So I'm going to run a road that way, sort of closing that off and then connect it up to here. Um, but our... Um, residents are going to live over here so what I like to do for the residents is two lane road uh, with parallel turned on and we'll rank this right up to say 10 i to think about where I want this annoyingly the, the parallel is on the opposite side that I was expecting there Bring it over a little bit more. That's pretty good. Mm 
Mm. Right, so th that's going to act as our central point of connection, basically. Make sure it's a good, nice, clean 90 degree angle. We've got good connection all the way across. And then we just put a connecting road here. That is going to help us so much. We can branch out now on all sides um, so, so easily. First thing I'm going to do, though, is put down a transformer hub. We'll plonk that back bang in the middle. And then we'll get ourselves a connection point. Actually, let's start here. And that's it. Right, so now I'm going to unpause. And you'll see, if we go to the Twitter feed... The water department, the pump is up and running. Soon we'll have water flowing throughout the city. Now, the problem I've got is I don't have any fuel coming into here. So let me just fix that before I move on. So keeping the four lane road going. Uh, I'm going to come off at a slight angle here, something like that. with that for now we'll switch back down to our basic road again trying to keep as best we can within the contours of the landscape <coughs> excuse me right so now i can unpause that and you'll see that we have an electricity connection going all the way from our electricity company all the way to the mains and you can see that the electricity is going out rather than coming in that means that we're selling we are already selling electricity it should pop up here at some point the game seems to run much better when you're running at maximum speed so i'm just gonna chuck that on if they start saying it. Electricity department, we have an overabundance of electricity production, so we're selling the excess to the outside world. So, according to this, we're still losing 860 an hour. And I can't show you the information, but I swear to God, we're selling millions uh, outside. But the whole economics in this game is totally broken. So they have no employees, but they're running at 80% efficiency. So let's get that fixed. Come in and slam down your basic grid. I always like to leave a bit of space. <coughs> Excuse me. And there's milestone one unlocked. Let's put some uh, connecting roads in. Sorry for my cough. Desperately to hold it in. Okay. So we're going to slam down some housing. And a section for shopping. You're back with Second Moon Radio, your second musical home from home. So settle back in your chair, pour yourself a glass, and prepare for another hour of musical delight. Tonight we are doing a musical tour of Italia, mm -hmm. land of art and culture. <laughs> que bon, as they say. And an aria inspired by the infamous Vivaldi and shall be our guide. <laughs> So trying to adhere to the limitations of the land. Got a nice industry area there. We can fill. up when it's 
best to connect in the middle. Right, so that's pretty much going to take care of itself. We can just ignore that pretty much now. You can see we're already getting demand for medium density residential, which is crazy because uh, I tried so hard to get that working before. And it, it took me a long time and it never happened. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide in a new grid here. Within the confines of the area. And I'm going to have a one-way street coming in. And a one-way street going out. And coming here, put some medium residential down. Might even go as far as that. We'll just slam in a few shops in the gaps. Not too many. I found the shops very quickly start complaining that there aren't enough customers, which is incredibly frustrating. Right, so we've obviously unlocked a few extra areas, a medical clinic. So it makes sense to sort of place that, I guess, centrally. Um, we're also going to need area for cemetery area so I think where a good place for that might be so I can't put it there maybe I'll create a little off-road over here quite off-road on the edge of town, as they say. See, sometimes that doesn't let you do the curve. I don't know why. Sometimes it just forces the straight line on you. So that should be straight. Lovely. So that's currently a dead end, but that's not a problem. Uh, in fact, what I might do, put a straight line on that. Come down the side. And nope, we don't have access to a crematorium right now. Okay. So we do have a landfill site and obviously we know that we want to have all of our smelly stuff in this corner of the map. So I'm going to slam this. Where should I slam this? I'm going to keep it on the main road, I think. And I'm going to slam it there. Hopefully that's far enough away people's houses could be an issue okay something weird's happened there you can see the landfill's gone right into the uh right into the very hill itself. See, this is a very temporary solution because you're gonna, you can have to start processing rubbish sooner than you think actually, because otherwise you're gonna get stuck in a rut and you won't be able to get out of it. problem there then. Right. 
So that's an enormous landfill site. Absolutely huge, but it's going to keep us going for quite some time. So it's a good thing. Right. So there's still demand for medium housing. What I might do is just pop a little extension on the edge here. So that we can expand that out. Give that a little shop and that a little shop. that hasn't connected properly for whatever reason oh that one way street that's probably why right let's fix that Is that a one-way street? Oh, I see. I had the wrong tool collect selected. Right, that should fix that now. That should now be working. Perfect, right. We have moved on. Now it's time for education. Elementary school. High school. Now the high school's a little bit bigger uh, than the space we've got in the middle, which is a bit annoying, I have to say. But we have the ability to cope with that. And as we expand, probably actually would be better if I put that over here, thinking about it. More towards the area where houses are going to be built. Right, so that's that done. That's that done. So, I, what I could do is I can come into my nodes and unlock the crematorium. I could unlock the hospital, but it's so expensive. I'm going to hold off for now. Crematorium just helps us to not get overloaded, if you will, at the cemetery. We shouldn't do anyway, because it has a very large capacity. Uh, but what I wanted to show you and forgot to show you was if we go into budget and go to income and click on exported electricity, you can see we're exporting about 3 million units. Um, even though this is still going down, that's 3 million units. So the whole economy system appears to be broken at the moment. But th that is fundamentally my, my, my key point, is to ensure that you have that connected as soon as possible. Once you're sort of level three, which we always are, that I would recommend we start looking at natural resources. You can't actually do that until you get to level three. There's so many things that are restricted uh, before you can get to them. Most irritating, I have to say. Right, so there's a good healthy demand for pretty much everything at the moment. What I could do down here in these areas that don't really have anything else to do allow them to become economic hubs I'll expand this road out a little further I 
actually run a road around the side of this thing. We have a nice defined area there that we can work with. You can see that traffic really isn't a problem at the moment. I don't really like how these cars are parking up here but it's not affecting the traffic Local so authorities are urging the public to conserve water and reduce the burden on the city during this water shortage water shortage consider installing a low flush toilet it's not a water storage water the lawn and issue at all whenever possible this has been a local public service announcement pending updates to our power grid the we city need will be 3 xp to rank up we urge the public to remain calm during these breaks in service and to follow the guidelines on the city's website on how to plan for these temporary events. This has been a local public service announcement. You are listening to Second Moon, the station for the cultural sophisticate who doesn't fear extending their ears to the water treatment plants. Let us move now from the... That's milestone three. You're pretty much ready to go from that point on. Here we have some perfectly anguishing correspondence from a listener. My dear Professor Hornbuckle, <laughs> whereas I make no apology for my erudite... So we now have a wastewater that I treatment plant, which the should reduce the amount of sewage that we're producing. Of the form, and all my expertise derives merely from a life devoted to the gentle arts. Though I do thank you for the honor. Mm. Uh, but I digest to continue. Uh, Professor Hornbuckle, as a traveler from my homeland, I long to hear a tune that speaks to the anguish of my road-weary soul. Hmm. Right. There now, my good fellow. Chin up, as it were. No need to wallow in Fire station. Leave that to those poets. Police chats, station. Okay? Here's a tune just for you, and I do hope it provides your aching spirit some modest desolation. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. So you can see there's a massive demand, even for medium density. The medium density is really useful for us. My wife tells me that's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. Interesting news from the city's export division. Sources tell us that our city has more services than we know what to do with. And you know what that means, folks. It means we're not cutting things close enough. Well, no. The point is we're selling it and bringing money into local That's economy. right. You could almost say it's too much of a good thing. Or we could say that we're enjoying a positive trade balance and the economy is booming. More after this. Get some medium residential in there whilst it's hot. That's going to boost the number of people we got living here so quickly. You can see, if you just keep an eye on the happiness meter, everything else will work. It really is as simple as that. Um, we're going to try and keep all the industry down this end. A real demand for industry right now. You see, there's a bit of demand for shopping. Once again, let's come in, give 
this area, some shops to work with. You can see we're kind of eating into the hill a little bit. You can see some areas where we're starting to take chunks out of the hill. Um, it's sort of be aware of that a little bit because as this hill gets bigger, we're going to have to be more thoughtful about how we put things down. But overall, we're pretty much chugging along quite nicely. And if I look at the budget, income, electricity export, still 2.5 million. And that's just off one of these. And this should be running at 100, yeah, it's 110 percent. And um, it imports 16.6 .6 tons of coal. So now that you're a level three, this is when I would start recommending that you start looking at natural resources. So you can see up here, we've got, if you start turning these off, this is an ore deposit, so probably coal here, which works really well with what we want to do. So if I purchase these two corner sections for not very much money at all. Obviously it's very hilly. We may need to do a bit of adjustment stuff in order to make it work. What is that? New signature building available. A stone monolith that diversifies and enhances its surroundings. Okay, these buildings are free and they give you like massive perks. So, let's just slide it in. Could give like a happiness benefit to all these surrounding buildings. Nice. Bit cheaty, bit gimmicky, but whatever. Okay, you can see we got some castle ruins there. I'm going to move those, and bring them over here. What people have got. Actually, what I might do, put that on top of the hill, where you would expect to find a castle. And then it could be like a, a touristy thing. Right, so I get too distracted. Let's take another look at the resources. You see it's all around this area. We're probably going to need two. Uh, two, um, yeah, two industries. Standing stone. I can't, can't move that, sadly. That's probably going to get destroyed. Into industry. We can't start mining for oil until 8. We can't start mining for ore. We can't start mining for coal until we hit milestone 5. That's infuriating. Uh, I guess we can... begin to outline it. It's, it's a real shame you can't leave this on whilst you're building roads. As soon as you click on it, it goes off again. So it kind of starts there. That's the first time it's ever let me build a road whilst that's still on. I'm glad it works, I just don't know why it doesn't work all the time. Right, perfect. So we know where that whole coal area is going to be and if I just come in here, we're going to be at milestone five fairly quickly. I'm going to say, oops.
flatten out a decent area could theoretically allow us to grab all of that coal really quite quickly we've got demand already for offices um, which is exceptional we like that very much I'm going to keep this open for services there's a good little spot here maybe for some industrial it'd be nice if I could do a little circle in the middle there but I think it's probably beyond my level of patience that I have right now gonna get in the way Absolutely perfect, but you know, it's close enough for what we're looking to do. Right, so now I could just fill this up entirely with offices. See, the demand for offices immediately disappears. That's going to be the business sector or the office sector. Demand for high density residential demand. So, I mean, people are desperate to move in. You see, we've got quite a decent bit of growth going on there. But I might spill off this into a different direction or something. Do need some more industry, so how about I connect existing road system up to that main road. Let's slot in a couple more businesses there. And then we can have businesses all around the outside here. Some of which might not be able to fit in. as well I guess we're going to have to kind of bite the bullet and go for some housing over here. options right let's 
about time I started introducing some parks. Parks are very small, but also very popular. Pending updates to our power grid, the city will be experiencing rolling blackouts. We urge the public to remain calm during these breaks in service and to follow the guidelines on the city's website on how to plan for these temporary events. This has been a local public service announcement. Recent spikes in demand have led to temporary local shortages in the city's fresh water supply. The public should be aware that we are struggling to get the situation in hand. This has been a local public service announcement. Second Moon Radio with your host. Right, Jay that should Tyler cheer everybody Sports. up. Tune in tomorrow for a second chance. Loads of leisure time, everything they need. Pretty much and everything is main feature story. ticking over as best as we could morning, expect. As the area is attracting and quite a few more people moving in. Bringing the latest in luxury to our neighbor. Still making a loss. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate. Or so my wife Let's tells take a me. Look, so That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks. Which is okay. We'll be back after because this. he's a little bit low. The industry in the region is on the rise. And when business is doing well, that floats our boat. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. We're going to invest in a second electricity factory. Which later on will replace with something much bigger and more effective. Maybe even some uh, buildings here that eat away at the uh, landfill usage. We've barely, barely started filling that, so that's good. I wonder if I can lower this now that it's there. I'm just curious. I click this, say level terrain tool, and say I want it that height. Oh yeah, lovely. That looks so much better. I guess it will go right up to the road. That's spot on that is, I like that. more. I don't like that though. <laughs> oh no. We have to smooth this out at some point. I suppose if I mess with it too much I will make it look terrible so I'm gonna stay clear of that right let's have a look so we're still not doing very well but if I go into services and look at electricity you can see that we're making 71,000 so 90,000 uh, effectively um, so we're almost covering all the costs of electricity just by just through the export but if you come and look at the export this one doesn't really make any sense budget income exported electricity says four and a half million which one is right which one is right we have no idea all a bit of a mess at the moment 
But according to this, officially, we are making 74,000 in exports like that. So if I come in here and just raise up taxes for the richer, like so. Everything else we can leave as is. Right, we're almost at level seven. People are complaining about high taxes, but I make some money somehow, haven't I? I make some money somehow. Right, so it's very, very difficult to sort of see in the dark. Probably why not much uh, development happens during the dark hours. But we do need to get to level five in order to start drilling for coal and then we'll, we should have an export coal export system on the go off the back of that I'm wondering if I can put a load around this without destroying it perfectly round but I'd say that's pretty damn good I'd say that's pretty that looks pretty awesome I'm quite I'm quite happy with that I'm happy now to run a road yeah right up to the castle and I'm hoping that counts as a sort of a leisure activity somewhere to go and something to do like a tourist thing you would think it would be wouldn't you also pretty cool if you're at school you look out and you see that I mean that's that's a nice old view isn't it that's a nice old view right what are they complaining about not enough customers this is, this is what we run into all of the time. The number of customers, just even though there's constantly growing numbers of people actually living here, it's not enough to cater for their greed. wider on this one, couldn't I? Lara's Sweets, very nice. Interconnected quite nicely. Got some low rent housing going in over here, which means those houses are going to be quite small.
though. We get complaints of unreliable internet access. <laughs> Excuse me. So if we just come in here and grab ourselves a radio mast. We'll centralise that as best we can. This area is absolutely spot on with no problems whatsoever and we'll just slam another one in over here. Maybe out the back. Uh, kind of needs to be more centralised than that. Should boost that up. Yep, that fixes that. So everything is happy. You don't really need to do much else other than just keep people happy. What I might do Want this to be low density housing for the rich folk to come in because that's who basically wants to do stuff you can see there's a demand for commercial but all these all these businesses are complaining that they have lack of customers so it's it's total trollop if you ask me what you might want to do is just unlock parking areas. Not cheap though. Just dropped in a couple of car parks, just medium sized ones, small to medium sized ones. Hopefully, that would encourage more people to come and park and shop at the shops. And we'll also come in and get ourselves a post office. Nice if I could squeeze that in to that gap, but it doesn't look like it's going to let me. I'll bring the post office over here. an existing road off of the back of this. I do some very weird things sometimes this game. That, which makes me very nervous. Post office. And then we'll just drop some mailboxes. Basically the entrance to all of these buildings, building areas. by the school that makes life easier and you can see that happiness is right up there and you're just going to keep growing and growing and growing if that's the case a driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve this has been a local public service announcement you're back with Second Moon Radio. Your second. All oh, right, we're level five, so we should now have the ability to start mining for coal. Great! Oh, look at that! I didn't realise one would be big enough to do the whole area. Quibon, as they say, and an aria inspired by the infamous Vivaldi shall be our guide. 
And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate, or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. Um, a bit, Industry bit concerned. And when business is doing well, that floats our boat. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. I'm gonna redesign that slightly. I'm gonna have the road coming in here. And then we'll build the industry there. It just, it does actually seem to work much better when you, uh, Build the road first, I've noticed. Well, that's in place. I could just take the ah, oh, just want to take the corner off this. It's not gonna let me, so the do it the annoying way. That seems to be in place. for coal pretty much the whole way round this area. Come on. Oh, I see. I didn't see the little marker. There's a small amount of coal that we won't get out of that, but that's a huge industrial area. That's going to end up employing a lot of people. 164 people already. Uh, but they don't even need highly educated people, which means there's going to be a demand for more uneducated pet types, which is great for us. Brings more and more industry our way. Now, there's a lot of traffic here. I guess this is people trying to get home from work, right? They're all going left. So, what would make sense is if I could run another road across here, thereby splitting number of people heading that way at any one time. Less multiple connections. Right, so that should really cut down the number of traffic that comes straight down this way and across. A slip a little road in here. At the end. Should work really well. 
well. So there is a massive demand for industry because we're almost at th level three here on the coal. And uh, quite a few jobs coming in that way, which is nice. Um, I'm thinking about education now. Taxi stands all over the place. There's taxis flying about all over the place now. That's going to help get people around. Complaining about unreliable healthcare coverage again. Suppose technically at that end there isn't a lot. Maybe we'll pick another medical clinic in just on the boundary here. I'm mostly helping the people that live here but also covering that lot up that end. Seems to have fixed that. No point me putting commercial in because there's already people complaining that they're not got enough customers as it is. I think we're going to slot a little bus depot in over here in this corner. And then we'll get some top of the range bus stops. sure there's a bus stop for everybody. Right. 
still have to come around the other side, that's so annoying. bus route going here. a strange route, I, I can't deny it. It's an absolute mess of a route, isn't it? They're all going the wrong bloody way. Pending updates to our power grid, the city will be experiencing rolling blackouts. We urge the public to remain calm during these breaks in service and to follow the guidelines on the city's website on how to plan for these temporary events. This has been a local public service and Right. It's a bit of a crappy bus route, but it's in. ...led to temporary local shortages in the city's fresh water supply. The public should be aware that we are struggling to get the situation in hand. This has been a local public service announcement. Has anyone seen my keys? My keys. Yeah, there's, there's no problem with water availability. Of course, if you do run into issues like that... Uh, sorry about that. It's uh, nothing important. I just lost my keys. I'm sure they'll turn up. They're for the... Upgrades are the way to go. Oh, wait. I'll boost the amount of water that's coming in. <laughs> apparently. steal my car. I mean, the old hornbuckle mobile, please. Oh, good. Here they are. Well... Never mind. No pollution in the water, which is lucky for us. Second move. Let's have a look at coal exports. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes uh, while sipping a fancy local Jarva mate, or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. So as soon as we started mining coal, the value of coal has gone down. About hitting the streets, you can expect delays on the major roads, especially during rush hour. Good to know, Jim. Okay, so Seems we've got like massive, massive surplus of coal, uh, which we're exporting, and that should theoretically be bringing money in. Oh, I don't know. I'd rather wait an hour and try. Money's still going down. I just don't understand. Besides, if I did that, I'd never What the economy it. system is, is trying to do at the moment, it just seems so unbelievably broken. We seem to have fixed the traffic issues, so that's good. A few buses sort of chunking up on each other. I don't know why they're not more spread out. Don't 
everything seems to be going quite well. Um, we do need to, I think, improve our education. So put a college up here on the main line. University, which is 1.5 million. Oh god, I should have put them the other way around. Didn't realise the university was going to be quite so flipping big. Move the college down this way. annoying. We'll have to set it back then. This could cause some problems. Say the very least. Now this now this section doesn't have uh, maybe that wasn't the best place to put the the uh, university. I just move it to give myself all the hassle. Do then is rotate it all the way around. Why does it do that? Oh, let's turn off. This mess. <coughs> right, <coughs> so how are we doing over here? Pretty much maxed out, nearly level 100. We hardly spent anything really. a lot of development and growth. What I might think about doing is connecting up to the highway over here. Maybe I could upgrade this to a slightly bigger road.
ideally I would have this come straight down there reconnected super quick. That is like a two-lane highway. perfect but it'll do temporarily I'm 
centimeters. Look, you didn't give me the option to put my curve on again. Hardly perfect, but... Uh, What I might want to do is build that above here. That would actually work quite well. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive, and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. Second Moon Radio with your host, J. Thomas Hornbuckle. Tune in tomorrow for a second chance to hear the music of yesteryear. We've recently been having what some are calling the worst kind of luck there is. That's right, today we are talking about the increased likelihood that you'll die. That's not exactly what an increased death rate measures. Either way, if no, everybody I'm not is liking dying, that, that's that wrong. Oh, that's a wild overstatement. Are you trying to make people panic? Pam, did you, did you say panic? She said panic. The death rate is skyrocketing. We've got to get out of here. You go. I'll stay and clear up the mess. We'll be back after this. Industry in the region is on the rise, and when business is doing well, that floats our boat. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. So it's less than perfect. Well, let's just hope it works.
missed it completely, look. Why does it keep doing that? So I think that's slightly better. Step in the right direction at least. So they're still complaining about high taxes, but you know, screw them. relatively flat area here. That'd be good for industry then. should see us quite well. Move the college now. Yeah, I've got to fix these bus stops. Mismatched, but functional. traffic accident. Right, so what we're going to need is in here uh, Nope, sorry, I think I need to unlock it first Advanced road services Then we have a road maintenance depot, which I can slam over here next to the university. They should maintain the road to stop the number of traffic accidents that we're having. Got traffic lights there at the moment. That seems to be working quite well. It's our traffic incident. It's a bit of a pain. Turn it into a free for all. Well, 
I notice a lot of trucks are going that way to get up here. I'd much rather they just carry on. facing the wrong way. So annoying. So dumb the way that you can't change this anymore. Can't do it until they fix that stupid design bug. It's not a design bug as in it's broken, it's just a stupid design. Okay, that's, a, that's also a stupid design. Technically, truth be told, I don't need that at all. drop off point. Nicer than what I had before. Hmm. Right, well that seems to be rocking quite nicely. We're not really struggling at all complaining about high taxes, but... We need taxes, people. We need taxes. I'm loath to put in any kind of shopping because these guys are just constantly complaining there aren't enough people, which is just stupid if you ask me. Ah, an RTA in the worst possible place. Thankfully, he's off the road, so it's not going to affect anyone. Take a while for our services to get there, though. Pending updates to our power grid, the city will be experiencing rolling blackouts. We urge the public to remain calm during these breaks in service and to follow the guidelines on the city's website on how to plan for these temporary events. This has been a local public service announcement. Local authorities are urging the public to conserve water and reduce the burden on the city during this water shortage. Consider installing a low flush toilet cut back on watering the lawn, and shower with a friend whenever possible. This has been a local public service announcement. This is Second Moon with 
J. Thomas Hornbuckle. Before we dive into our next selection, I'd like to take a few memento moris to elaborate on the formal structure of the symphonic work. For our newer, less able listeners, first, we will be dancing through the al dente section before entering the slower largo movement, finally, then savoring the vivacious anti-pasto movement. So, without further ado, let's raise the curtain and begin. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate, or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. Industry in the region is on the rise, and when business is doing well, that floats our boat. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. <coughs> it's probably time we got another fire department in. Really? Okay. The game seems to think that's not really necessary, but I'm going to do it anyway. Do the same with the police. So, um, yeah, I mean, we're ticking over, we're at maximum happiness. I mean, they, they don't like the taxes. And my, my idea to bring in extra funds hasn't really worked. Uh, services, electricity. Yeah, so we're only exporting 40,000. Don't know why. a bit low on stuff. Let's, uh, should we unlock some things? Let's go incinerator plant, recycling, industrial waste processing. We can't afford any of those, they're far too expensive for our, for our blood. Tad frustrating because I just invested all of our resources into that. We are seeing people moving in though, so it is still happening. We are still growing. We're definitely getting to the edge of our agreed industrial area. just a little bit further out this way.
that will probably be the last bit of industry we stick over here. We maybe try and chuck a couple of shops in this this area. In case you know you're at work and you want to buy something. Some lunch maybe. Try to mix it up a little bit, keep things interesting. Which is possible at least. connection there, don't like that. I'll do it from the other side. game. Now what's your main problem? Thank you. It's so much more complicated than it actually needed to be. Traffic's not too bad. That building collapsed due to lack of maintenance. What the hell's that all about? I don't think that's anything to do with me. This will be good for students. Space, hey. All right, let's put something together.
new business sector there. thing we'll build having run this little test experiment demand has dropped right off now we've sort of hit a plateau but they're just complaining about taxes I guess we can come into taxation just drop this down a little bit like so And that should cheer everybody up. They're complaining less about taxes now. Everything seems to be pretty good. Spacious homes, wealth, everything they could really hope for. All in one place. Maybe if I can get these cars off here. the width of the road. It hasn't really stopped. Yeah, it hasn't really done much, has it? So 
that help? Seems to be very busy, doesn't it? Maybe I should reintroduce that road. We seem to be ticking over quite well. The step in the right direction, isn't it? We've reached level seven quite quickly, I suppose. Jam down a Rubik apartment. Look at happiness and slam it somewhere where there aren't that many happy people. If these guys are not so happy. I don't know why. They've got the best houses. They're one of the doctors, basically. Okay, well, we can slide the doctors in up here. Does that make them happy? Yes, it does. These guys are complaining because they don't have good health care coverage. Really? How about I slam a hospital in? Just here. Mikey, what is that? Police station. Okay. You can relocate you. Center of everything. Right, let's look at happiness. Now everybody's happy because our coverage is just exceptional. Right, problem with traffic. This might be the time to change this to one way system. And I bet you this is going to all be facing the wrong way. Yeah, they're all in different directions. direction. That is such a bad oversight. It used to work so well. Well, I can't do that then. I can't reverse that.
wonder if I can do a sort of an overbelt. That makes sense. Anything that mental. I can't put it totally centralized, but I can put it in slightly off. So that might work, having an overbelt. So anything that wants to go straight down now doesn't have to um, put up with the outside traffic. Takes away a bit of the traffic, but not much. I wonder whether to get rid of this. Wait, this to be a two way system. it a little bit cleaner. Probably get rid of that as well. Less connections you have the better. sense to have two out roads over here. cleared things up a smidge. Local authorities are urging the public to conserve water and reduce the burden on the city during this water shortage. Consider installing a low flush toilet, cut back on watering the lawn, and shower with a friend whenever possible. This has been a local public service announcement. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This is the road conditions are absolutely service. perfect. So I don't know you're what you're talking about. The second moon, the epitome of classical listening at home or wherever you roam. Traffic is a bit of a problem. Industry in the region is on the rise, and when business is doing well, that floats our boat. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate, or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this.
But we're definitely jam packing the hell out of it all. Oh, there's a car on fire here. Fire brigade's dealt with it. Ambulance has arrived. Let's leave the police now. Where the hell are the police? And the tow trucks. got some choke points. Expanding, I guess. But the demand is for now for medium density housing. Totally wasn't before, but it is now. A lot of traffic hold up right there. What about a crazy theory? Let's make this a one-way system into the city. as a one-way system out of the city. What sort of damage is that going to do to everything? people trying to get in the city but I don't understand where why are they coming to the city 
What is the desire for them to be here? Oh, this one could be upgraded. Seems to be working to an extent. It's a pain in the ass in this game, isn't it? Alright, well, you know, started out well. Hit some snags along the way. It's just an experiment, really. I just wanted to see 
if you could make money off the back of electricity alone, uh, clearly you cannot. Um, yeah, kind of irritating. Still growing and processing. I mean, they're super, super happy, except for the traffic and the high taxes. If I bring this down any more, so now their only issue is traffic. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. You're tuned in to Second Moon, the channel where the classics never grow old. If that helps. Local stargazers are in for a real treat tonight as the Aurora Borealis is expected to light up the night sky. That's right, Jim. Don't forget to look up this evening. It promises to be quite a sight. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes. I guess the key is never put anything along your main road because your main roads are just going to have to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Thanks, Jim. Always. We'll be back after. Always growing. We not have like um but like they used to be able to sort of have a view of the city or something. That gone now, is it? Right, so I see what's so stupid about this. In order to get medium density uh, demand, you need to have no unoccupied buildings. But as soon as you get demand and you build the buildings, this no longer becomes relevant and then it disappears. It's a bit daft. Terrible 
straight to the hospital to be. Got a helicopter on it though, that's very cool. I think we'll relocate it over here. I don't have enough money to do that uh, bum. Eventually we'll relocate it. So the traffic is just getting in its own way. Ending, is it? More and more traffic all the time. Hmm. All right, we'll get to level eight and then uh, we'll wrap this one up. I don't know if I've really learned anything from this. No indication of how much money we're making off of this. We're producing a hell of a lot. We should be making a lot of money. You would think. If I don't leave any gaps for trains and things like that, that's probably another thing I need to start considering. by 37 tiles so I don't think I'm using my tiles very effectively either yeah Some improvements to be made there all right uh, are we are we at level this yep we need like 200 XP some shops let's put some shops in and I guess over the edge no traffic everywhere Yes, until they fix the ability to control traffic better. Things like roundabouts and that are just not going to work, are they? silly but the only way I could do it is to break it it's 
bad design. That's that's a step backwards from what it used to be. It used to work better than that. So that is kind of like a massive roundabout now. There it is, we made it to level eight. Not sure I've actually really learned anything useful there. Tried to be more proactive and think ahead a bit more, which I think I've done. Not quite to the degree that I wanted to do it. Um, let's... Uh, that's the wrong road type. trend look still traffic I mean traffic is is one minus one negative and I'm spending a lot of time and effort trying to figure that out maybe that's just completely pointless traffic here, trying to get down here. There's, there's nothing stopping it other than the fact that we can't correctly control this. hard to uh, get it all working properly. That seems to have cleared the traffic a bit there. Just have one last look at the traffic. Yeah, see, it's still, I mean, it says heavy, but that doesn't look heavy to me at all. 
To be honest with you, that looks pretty reasonable. I don't see that as a problem. That, yes, I grant you, that is a bit more of a problem. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. Local authorities are urging the public to conserve water and reduce the burden on the city during this water shortage. Consider installing a low flush toilet, cut back on watering the that lawn, and shower with a friend whenever possible. This has been a local public service announcement. Has anyone seen my keys? My keys? What? We're in the air? Oh, oh! Uh, sorry about that. It's uh, nothing important. I just lost my keys. I'm sure they'll turn up. They're for the brown sedan parked outside the radio station. Oh, wait. I probably shouldn't have said that if anyone finds them. Please, don't, don't steal my car. I mean, the old hornbuckle mobile, please. Oh, good. Here they are. Well, That's a dead end, apparently. Thank you for listening to the second move. We've recently been having what some are calling the worst kind of luck there. That's right. Today, Why we is that a dead end? About the increased likelihood that you'll die. That's not exactly what an increased death rate measures. Either way, if everybody is dying, that gives me the creep. Now that's a wild overstatement. Are you trying to make people panic? Pan did, you, did you say panic? She said panic. The death rate is skyrocketing. We've got to get out of here. You go. I'll stay and clear up the mess. We'll be back after this. And on to our main yes, features. Yes, causing a problem. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting the more landfill, bringing the latest in luxury to Lugets. our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva mate, or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. We're going to have to do it asymmetrically, otherwise it won't be able to function. That's not bad, actually, asymmetrically. Maybe the asymmetric roads are the answer to all my problems. All right, well, we had a bloody good crack at it, guys. Um, everything's positive except for this where all the traffic is. But look at that, that's red. Like, the worst traffic on planet Earth. I know it's happiness, okay. These are low speed, wide roads. That's interesting, 35 miles per hour. Yeah, very stressful. I have a lot to learn, guys, a lot to learn. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Till then, goodbye for now. Goodbye for now. What the nougats is going on? Goodbye for now. Goodbye for now.